So it's been a really long time since I've done a vlog and I filmed one on my last trip to Iraq, which was like a month ago. And I wasn't gonna release it cause I'm like, well, this is just, it's too late. It's not really worth it, but I think I'm going to anyway. So here you go. Hopefully you enjoy. Okay, you ready? Back at the airport again. Hold on. Thank you, Josh. This is my girlfriend, Trish. <laughs> Appreciate the ride. Flight. Okay, just um, one passenger? Yes, she's on a different flight. She's just going with me right now. It's really good to be going to the Middle East again. Perhaps I should explain. So I'm, I, it's been a while since I was in the Middle East again and today is September 25th. It's a really, really historical day. This is the day the Kurdish region, which used to be kind of part of Iraq, it was sub-autonomous and all of that, is going to take a vote and decide whether it will be independent country or not. It's a really big deal um, and it's almost certain to vote yes. I'm going to be flying all night and we'll get in the morning of the 26th, which will be the first day after the vote saying yes or no. Really excited, gonna document that journey and um, really glad to take y'all along with me. I have no idea what to expect. There's talk of shutting down airports and things just because of the tensions. We'll see. I've been through Philly Airport, but I've never even noticed these. Look at these cool little cubicles right here. They're like really small. I literally have this whole road to myself. See this right here? <laughs> and that's just awesome. Please fasten your seatbelt for takeoff and landing. And whenever the seatbelt sign is illuminated, layover airport and I am barely gonna make this flight but flight has not been canceled I am kind of surprised honestly so yeah I gotta I gotta move
That over there, it's hard to see because it's hazy, but that's Mosul Lake. Jake over there is making a whole lot of noise, so ignore the background noise. But anyway, I am about to leave. I have not hardly vlogged basically the whole time I've been here, and that's because, yeah, things are just kind of sensitive and, and not, not as they used to be um, over here, especially in the Kurdish region. So what happened is I got here, been here about 10 days, and all the flights were canceled, um, and my ticket was revoked. So it looks like a lot of our team is going to be stuck here for a while. We all vouched to stay instead of going home, um, except for myself. Uh, we're looking into alternative routes, so I'm going to attempt that and hopefully get out because I really need to get back to the States. Yeah. Did I miss anything? See, so you hold it like this when you're vlogging. Yes. So did I cover it right? While you're here? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 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 We've been really, really busy doing like logistical administrative stuff, me and this guy. So, yeah, camera hasn't come out. So, for all you long term viewers of the vlog, back over there behind me is the skyscrapers, the abandoned ones that me and Otto went and climbed up. Uh, I can barely get in frame. I'm like leaning way over the ledge. Here. <clears throat> They're right. <laughs> right there. See, the link for the other vlog is right here if you want to see them. They're really tall, really cool. Like I said before, uh, the tensions are, are have been pretty high uh, around Kurdistan and Iraq and Iran and, and Syria, Turkey. That None of them really like each other a whole lot. Um, behind me there, Mosul Lake that I pointed out before, uh, Turkey and Iraq were actually stationing some artillery and weaponry over there just in case, kind of show their strength and, and kind of scare Kurdistan a little bit. So that does kind of make us a little bit nervous, but... You know, we'll see. God, God can protect, and and we believe that this is where we need to be here, uh, helping refugees. And there's still so much to do, and uh, we're not going to leave um, while there's still people who need help. So, I I, I have to leave because I run the state side things, but but the team here is is playing on staying. So obviously, I made it back to the states. Um, all good, and that was about a month ago. And since then, a lot of stuff has happened. There was fair amount of fighting between um, Iraq and Kurdistan, which is really unfortunate now. A couple of weeks ago, they decided to have a ceasefire and they're going to dialogue about it. And really nobody knows which way things are going to go. It's very much up in the air at this point. Um, but yeah, airports are still closed. Some of the borders are still giving issues. Our team is still there. They're still not really able to come and go like we could before. But the work continues and um, actually while I was there, I had the privilege of going, we have a second base now and going and check that out. Whoa. We also went up to Mount Sinjar, uh, the region where all of these people would have fled when ISIS attacked. Uh, we were able to go to that mountain again and actually got to see one of Saddam Hussein's I'm fortresses. Back. I'd rather sit in the back anyway. What? Well, then I'll drive back too. Uh, Give me... After we go to your house. Thank you so much for watching, for your attention, for caring about what's happening in the Middle East. And do remember to pray for the conflict there. If you like what you see, you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Uh, give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.